This is a uh, brief overview of uh, the toilets that I have in storage. Got a um, Kohler, uh, looks like Highline Class 5. Uh, portrait light, Walworth Ingenium, Walworth Light with the Ingenium Trampway, but it does have the light flushing system with the dual side fit siphon jets. It's matching tank, my gray um, America Standard Cadet, I believe 1960, a uh, Hydra, a uh, mid 90s uh, 3.5 gallons um, color Highline, a uh, Mansesa Equacer. Um, I believe that is my uh, Toyota Reliance. Um, this, I believe, is a tank that goes to the uh, Ingenium, but it has a Class 5, looks like flush tower in it for currently. Um, my 1927 Crane Eleni. And in this corner here is the matching tank, along with the matching tank to my baby toilet. Uh, I believe the uh, mid 90s uh, American Standard Baby Devoro. Um, there is a Niagara Stealth. The Equacer tank down there is a, um, like a, uh, salmon colored, uh, I want to say like 1958 American Standard, uh, compact. Here's my, uh, plebe tank. Um, down there is my blue 1958 American Standard compact. Um, that is the, um, tank for the, um, gray 1960 cadet. There is my, um, uh, what you call it? My um, Crane Oxford with its matching tank, a Glacier Bay Power Flush. Um, do not have the tank with it here currently. A uh, Universal Rundle tank, um, which does not have a matching bowl. Here's a Hydro tank, Reliance tank. Um, that is a um, late 80s Kohler Wellworth 3.5 gallons um, water guard. Um, here, that is a Toto Drake with a matching tank. A uh, class 5 dry lock with the uh, large, like 4 inch flush valve. A Cadet 2. Um, take a minute to see what I'm looking at back here. Not 100% sure, honestly, with this one. Oh, that's my, that's my compact. That's my compact. It took me a minute to recognize that. And it's matching tank right here. And uh, the tank lids for these are all stored inside my home. Um, I just didn't really feel like I had a safe place to put them in here. There is my 1957 Richmond Bowl, which is what I mainly came here for. But being the fact that I have to put a pretty decent amount of effort into unearthing that, I may just take this marbled Universal Rundle instead. Um, there is a square elongated Elder Emblem with a uh, smaller trapway diameter or opening. The dry lock uh, Highline tank. A Gerber Aqua Saver with matching tank. There's a tank for the um, square emblem. Um, so there's tank lids here, um, one for the uh, plebe tank, or excuse me, the uh, baby devoro tank, and one for the uh, crane Elini tank. And here is my plebe. So yeah, that's just a very quick rundown of all the toilets in my storage unit. Um, and uh, yeah. Oh yeah, I, d I never did say anything about this one right here. Matching tank is at home, but that is a uh, 1960s uh, American Standard Cadet. So, yep. Just a quick overview of some of my toilets. Some of these have not been featured on YouTube before. I haven't gotten around to filming them all, and I probably won't for some time, because unfortunately I'm very busy. I really don't have much time on the weekends either. I'm usually either helping out family or tending to my home, so... Uh, but yeah, very quick overview, and um, yeah, I do hope to get more of these on, on YouTube. Um, I think that was, that was like my, uh, for a while, this was my last toilet video before I filmed the home art, which is currently at home. Um, um, the rest of my toilet collection, when I get it moved from my house, will be stored in a different unit, so this one is kind of full. Um, and I don't want to stack them too high, because then, you know, you get like a earthquake or something like that you know we don't really get earthquakes here but you know sometimes you get ground tremors i really don't want these things to shift and fall so yeah that made me a little nervous there seeing that and i was like i hope that's not cracked but anyways yeah hope y'all uh hope y'all enjoyed uh seeing all the uh loose in my shed <laughs> anyways have a good day and thanks for watching